Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The seven star terror raid event for Empoleon is now back in Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of this raid as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So returning for its second phase in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Empoleon Terror Raid event is back and it will be running over this weekend from the 9th of February until the 11th. It will be level 100, it will have the mightiest mark, ice is its terror typing, it can never be shiny, but it will have its hidden ability competitive. The moves it will have access to are Surf, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, Grass Knot with additional moves Snowscape, Blizzard and Iron Defense. It will have a modest nature so going to be hitting pretty hard and it is only catchable once per save file. You're going to get some really nice item drops with this one. So this one's good for going and just farming through for the high cost items like your nuggets, comma shards, star pieces and other items as well as level up candies and terror shards and those elusive ability patches. Like I say, this is the second time out for Empoleon. So if you missed it the first weekend from the 2nd to the 4th, this is your last chance to get it with the Mightiest Mark while it is running in game. Now to access this event in your game, once you come to your main menu, make sure you are connected to the internet, then come down to your Poker Portal and then come down to Mystery Gifts and check Poker Portal News. This will just update all of the dens in the Paldea region. This event will not be appearing in Kitakami or in the Blueberry Academy, just in Paldea. Once you locate the seven star terror raid then on your map, you'll be able to head over to it and take it on. Now, in last week's video, we covered two really consistent, easy builds that you're going to be able to use in your game, which are going to be the Vaporeon and the Mew. It will be linked in the top right hand corner of this video now and down in the description if you want to check the builds out for those Pokemon. But we do have another alternative build that is going to be just as good as those to feature in today's video, and it is going to be Gallade. So Gallade is going to be a fighting and psychic type. It is going to have the fighting terror type on there. The held item is going to be a covert cloak. That's going to prevent you from getting frozen in the raid, which is very useful. Level 100 and hyper train. So making sure that all those IVs are 31. Of course, the build will be down in the description below if you want to take a look at that after the video. The moveset is going to be skill swap, mystical fire, sword stance and drain punch. Just be aware that Mystical Fire is an egg move. So find something in your boxes that has the move Mystical Fire. Forget a move on the Gallade and then put the Mystical Fire Pokemon in your party alongside the Gallade and give the Gallade a Mirror Herb item to hold. Set up a picnic and then that egg move will be transferred on to the Gallade. So this is the move set. We've got the ability Steadfast. It really doesn't matter what ability you choose for this one. And the EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in attack, 252 EVs in special defense with an adamant nature. So when you first come into the raid with Gallade, you're going to see the turn zero of the Empoleon go for the Snowscape. That's going to summon the Hailstorm to the field for five turns. And then it is going to fire off a Blizzard. So that is going to be 100% accurate in the hail and do some considerable damage to you and your teammates. But you should be able to take this pretty comfortably with Gallade because you're so bulky. This turn we're going to lock in with the skill swap and we're going to steal the competitive ability on the Empoleon, meaning that we don't have to worry about it getting random boosts to its special attack throughout the rest of the raid. This is going to make it easier for us to just manage and set up our strategy. Next turn, what we're going to do is lock in with a Mystical Fire. Now, if you've got a Belly Ball like we have, it's a really good S tier option for partnering Pokemon. It's going to set up a light screen as well, so it's going to just mean that you're able to take these attacks even better. Nice thing about Mystical Fire is it does reduce the special attack on the Empoleon by one stage every time you use it. So we're going to fire off another one as well because we want this Empoleon to not be as threatening going forward while we get our setup. And what we're waiting for really before we go for a sword stance is the fact that it will nullify stats on our side of the field. If you're getting low on HP, just click in with the Drain Punch. Just recover some health back so you carry on the rest of the strategy and kind of wait out the turn where you see your stats and abilities nullified on your side of the field. Once that happens, we're kind of free to start firing off our swords dances. The nice thing about Mystical Fire as well and our Drain Punch is that we're in the point where we can terrestrialize now, but we don't want to click in with that until we're kind of ready to do some really big damage. So you can see here, there's the shield popping up from the Empoleon and it will nullify our stats on our side of the field as well as part and parcel of this. If it doesn't nullify the stats on our side of the field, just go for your terrestrialization and go for another Drain Punch. 
it will inevitably come when it hits that kind of 80% mark of its health. So you're probably just going to have to just chip it down a little bit here and then that will happen. And uh, you may get there a little bit quicker depending on the partnering Pokemon that you've got. You can see it's not going to do a massive amount of damage, but it's chipping away at it nicely. Like I say, we're just getting to the point where we're able to set up our Souls Dances and not have to worry about our stats being nullified because we don't want to waste turns setting up Souls Dances early on in this raid where we have to kind of just set them up again. So we want to get to the point where we are in a position where we can go for those Souls Dances. So just go for those Drain Punches in the meantime while we're waiting for those to be nullified. And then once we get the Souls Dances under our belt, it's going to really expedite the amount of damage it can do. And here you can see nullified stat changes and abilities on our side of the field. Super fine. And because of those mystical fires that we fired off earlier, the Empoleon, as you can see, it's not really going to be able to do very much damage to us. Get these sword stances up. Three will be enough. That will max your attack out to plus six. And then we're going to be able to do some really big damage. And this is sword stance number three. And then our attack stat is on plus six. I think the one thing that you have to worry about with the Empoleon is that it does set up an iron defense. So it will slow you down a little bit. It'll nullify our stats on our side of the field again. But you can see the damage that we're doing here. We're catching up with the raid timer, which is the main thing. Of course, this isn't going to be like a super quick raid to do, but it's very consistent and you're going to have no trouble at all with the Glade. Even in the initial setup early on, you're going to have a really easy time kind of taking down the Empoleon if it is your first time doing it to capture it in your game or if you're wanting to farm it for these high cost item drops that you do get from the raids like level up candies and things like that, which are really, really useful for further terror raids builds and things like that that you can do in your game and it's going to nullify stats on our side of the field again so we can just take a few turns just to set the sword stances up once again so we'll just need another three of those that'll just max out our attack the rest of this raid here as the shield is broken now it will nullify its stat drops on its side of the field so you have to bear in mind that once it does that its attacks will be hitting a little bit harder the mystical fire is something that you can just fire off at any point though to reduce that special attack stat once again on the empoleon so not taking as much damage and you can see here negative effect from its side of the field so we can fire off a mystical fire once again just to put it to minus one so like i said it isn't hitting as hard and we're still in a good shape with the raid timer as well but i think the big thing to think about with the glade is that it's just a super consistent method to be able to take down this empoleon you aren't really going to be in a position where you're worried about getting knocked out worried about getting frozen all the bases are kind of covered here. It's just a little bit slow and you're going to have to have a little bit of patience, but there's not really too much to it, honestly. Just skill swap turn one, physical fire turns two, three, drain punch and two, contrast lies, wait for the stats being nullified on your side of the field, set your three sword stances up and then drain punch. Whenever it does nullify the stat drops on your side of the field, set your sword stances up again, drain punch again and then use mystical fire whenever required after it nullifies the stat drops on its side of the field and then Basically, that is the, the basic premise of this whole build. And like I say, we're catching up with the raid timer. Another few drain punches will be enough to close this one up. And this is the last drain punch. This should be enough to take down the Empoleon. And just like the new build that we featured in last week's video, alongside the Vaporeon, the Gallade is another brilliant option that you're going to be able to utilize throughout this raid. Have no trouble beating. And this one's probably one that you can take online as well and support fellow players because of the ability to lower the special attack on the Empoleon with the Mystical Fire and the ability to remove that ability in competitive as well. And you can just reap the rewards and uh, cycle through the raids as much as you want while the event is running until the 11th of February. So that is everything for today's video, friends. Like I say, we featured two extra builds last week with the Mew and the Vaporeon. And then alongside the Glade, which we featured this week, we've got a lot of variety of Pokemon that you can choose from to take on this raid. Other Pokemon that are going to be very good at this raid are going to be things like Volcanion and Megana. I haven't purposefully featured these Pokemon because they're not as readily available as the ones we featured on the channel. Trying to make it as accessible as possible to everyone and easy enough to solo the Empoleon. But I hope you've had fun with this event. This has been a really fun seven star terror raid event. I do hope we get another one announced this weekend. Down in the comment section, get down there. Let me know what you think the next seven star terror raid event will be. Or do you think we'll not get one until maybe Pokemon Day, which is just around the corner. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. As always, if the video has been helpful, do drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.